Yo, what's going on guys? JBH here and welcome back to MotoGP 17 where it is finally time for the MotoGP category here on Sunday at the 2018 Argentinian MotoGP Grand Prix here at the circuit Termas de Rio Hondo Now in, uh, in Moto2 and Moto3 we actually had quite a wet race in both categories it was pretty interesting to say the least definitely very hard in the Moto2 category with uh, trying to conserve that rear tyre but we'll see what the weather is here in MotoGP. Hello and welcome to the Termas de Rio Hondo circuit in Argentina for live coverage of the MotoGP Grand Prix. The weather forecasts are very reassuring we should have good conditions throughout the race. Okay well as you can see it's sunny which is always a good thing uh, it was wet in practice in MotoGP in my in like in on this race weekend in real life it's been wet the whole weekend so I've tried to keep it as update uh, up to date with the real life weather as possible but uh, on MotoGP of course we're running a championship so it's all sort of made dynamically and, and, and at random so if it is your first time uh, tuning in to my channel or this is your first time watching one of my videos I do like to keep my sim racing and sports gaming games as realistic as possible. So although this is MotoGP 17, we've got a full 2018 mod. So it basically looks and feels just like the 2018 season. We've got all the new riders, all the new liveries, all the new logos. Uh, the only thing we don't quite have as accurate as possible yet is probably the performance of all the new riders. It's still a bit early in the season to be able to sort of set in the game how good each rider is and their and their sort of skill level at this point in time and pace at this point in time but for the most part it's pretty accurate so in qualifying we managed to qualify 12th we just got into the sort of uh, Q2 I guess you could call it where we were inside the top 12 in practice we were actually 7th in practice but I could not get a lap together in qualifying so unfortunately we finished 12th, uh, 12th out of 12 but it does mean we're sort of in the front sort of 50% of the pack which does help out a lot. I feel like our race pace should be pretty good as we were actually fifth in the morning warm-up. But without any further ado, we'll jump straight into today's race and hopefully we can continue to gain some more points after the first round in Qatar. See, as you can see here, Zarco off the pole, Marquez off second, Davizioso off third, we are alongside Yanoni and Miller on the fourth row, I think. So for this race, I've gone with the medium option rear tyre and the soft option front. I just want to try and conserve that rear tyre a little bit. But Simeon rounds off the 25 bike field, and here we go. After a long weekend of preparation, the race is about to start. You could cut the tension with a knife. But all that matters now is who gets across that line first. So our teammates off pole, we're going to do our best to try and catch up to him throughout the race. We definitely got the pace, I feel. Alrighty, here we go, round two, Argentina. Let's see if we can get through the first lap unscathed. We're away. A little bit of a wiggle, not the best get away, but... Try and get up inside and turn one. Oh, wow. Not a bad turn one there in the end. Side of the teammate. Now that's Zarko, he's out on the pole, he's gone way down on the first corner. Come on, let's go. Head down. So we're not quite going to have the same straight line speed as some of these factory bikes, unfortunately, but we should be good through the corners. I feel like our setup's pretty good. I actually haven't done really anything in the setup. I get trying stuff and everything I try just went slower. All I change is the front brake disc. Good gap to the bike behind the Pedrosa behind us. Oh, 
alongside Rins for Force. It's the podium straight ahead. We've had an awesome first lap. I tell you what, it couldn't have gone much better than that. Just stuck up the inside and held it the whole way through turn one here. Now just got to conserve this rear tyre for the end. We are on the soft option front and the hard option rear, so do not want to use them up too early. up there or else I was going to end up on the inside of the curb. It's so hard to control a bike with a controller. I don't know how these sort of pro guys do it on the eSports side of things. Alright, so we got past Rins. Keep trying to push ahead now. Trying to straighten up the bike as much as possible for the apex as little rear tyre as possible. One thing I probably should have mentioned at the start, this is 13 laps, it's approximately half of what they run in real life. And we've got it set to full difficulty, so this is the hardest difficulty, I can't remember what it's called. I play so many different sim racing games and sort of sports games that I can't remember which difficulty is which game to be honest, but it is the hardest, I know that for sure. I sort of just set it as the hardest before the season starts and don't touch it. On the sim racing side, on the sports gaming side, I often have to change it up because I'm not quite as good as those, at those as what I am in these motorsport games. through that last sector. Come on, I want a podium so bad, but I don't think we're quite going to have the pace at the end of the race. That's why I'm trying not to push too hard now. It's a long race. It's not overly long, but when you're on one set of tyres, it is. You only got a contact patch the size of well, like a 50 cent piece. <laughs> Sorry, that's Australia. Quarter, whatever the dollar is or pound is or euro or wherever the hell are you watching from <laughs> Argentina, I don't even know what currency they use in, they use in Argentina we'll just ride shotgun for a bit Try to hold this position, not make too many mistakes. Exhibit A. Exhibit B. Get away with that. Oh, the two caddies around here are really quick. Just under halfway. Oh, 
guys are gentle. Right on his tail now. Be so careful with that curve, that's why I didn't sort of floor it over the curve. We'll get the draft. That's a very aggressive move. Way too late on the brakes, come on. I just really struggled through this section. We got through the last two corners, but through here I really did struggle quite a bit. but it worked. Alright, so the Ducati's are starting to get away now. She's starting to get a bit held up by Marquez, actually. Never thought I'd hear that. Oh, it wasn't too bad. Ah, what am I? Well, where am I going? Where am I going? That was a very interesting choice of line through there. We're just, we're just trying to get in his peripheral vision, you know? We're trying to stir him up a bit, even though he's an AI computer. Although that's not getting in his peripheral vision. Oh my god, wow! Where the hell did Rossi come from? Jesus, alright. That's uh, changes things a bit. Got the doctor on our ass now. Okay, now's the hurry up time. Oh, I knew I was going to do that. That's right, we're going away with it. Whenever you touch a curb entering a corner, oh my god, fuck, that curb just ripped me up and shot me off the track. Oh, fuck's sake. Grr! Stop screwing up, Joseph. Oh, draft him, yes. Oh my god, could you stop being a fucking moron for five seconds? Stay on the racetrack. Way too many mistakes, come on. Oh my god, go away. Is that Vinyala? Go away. Wow, you used way too much rear brake.
problem is the rear brake on a controller is a button is a button, so you can't actually like modulate it like they can in real life. So it's either on or off. And if you hold it too much, it's like holding the handbrake. Button. Excuse me. Oh, go, oh, for fuck's sake. It just ruins my whole run. I was starting to catch up to Rossi again, and then I just got fucking screwed over by Vinales. Yeah, that's right, you have some of that. You have some of that elbow. Taste the shoulder. Let's see if we can get back towards the podium. Good run through turn one there. Pretty good lap so far. What happened a lot on that lap? That was a really actually that was the quickest lap of the weekend for me. 35-4, wow. Much better. Straight right there. Come on. It's boogie. Oh, it's starting to get a bit of a wobble now. Rear tire is starting to complain a bit. Alright, we caught back up to Rossi and we've got Vinales, so this is good. Gotta get through Rossi quick though. Oh, 
Oh no, we just, <laughs> we just wrecked Rossi. Alright, that's probably going to mean that this video is going to have like 50 million dislikes. Tried to get there over and under on him and unfortunately had a little bit of side-by-side -side contact. We have killed the Doctor. And well, I think we got some damage actually. Turn this fucking bike. I think if this was real life, Italy, or well, the nation of Italy, would have a warrant, an international warrant for my arrest <laughs> after what just happened. Alright, now we've got his teammate Vinales right on our ass. We've started to use up the most part of the tyre now. Ah, you prick. Ah. Well, that would be a bad day for Yamaha if I went and wrecked both of their riders, but... I want this top five. I mean... Oh, we... <laughs> I <li> oh, my God. Wow, I am going to be fired after this race. <laughs> How the hell do you go and wreck both of the factory Yamahas in one race? <laughs> oh, that's not here. Oh my god, Joseph. You spastic retard. Make it to the end. I have no rear tire left like that at all. I mean, look at that black line we're laying down. Rins coming up quick. Got two corners left. Oh, Rins gonna get us. Oh, no, we're going to get him. I think, did we get him? It was side by side. Oh, there's Rossi. Oh, God. I'm waiting for the elbow and the head. Wow, we got Rins by 17 thousandths of a second across the lines. So we did finish fourth, but wow. <laughs> How do you wreck both the Yamaha, factory Yamaha riders in one race when you're a satellite Yamaha rider? <laughs> wow. Oh, my God. What a race. What a fail. <laughs> well, we started 12th, managed to get 4th at the end, so I guess it's not too bad. Davizioso gets the win. Petrucci 2nd, Mark Marquez in 3rd. We just, we were right up behind him, and then I just made too many freaking errors on this track. This track's really hard, because there's a lot of really sharp corners, uh, sort of, that you have to 
get right perfect and it's so hard to like that corner leading onto the big straight you got to get that corner dead right and it's a mixture of just getting the bike in the right place on the right angle which on a controller is very hard to do so I mean everyone has to use the controller obviously on this game but compared to real life it is incredibly hard to do so we did actually oh wow look at that we I just realized we managed to have the exact same fastest lap as the leader Davizio so look 35.406 35.406 so we matched the fastest lap of the race unfortunately we couldn't hold it there because we didn't quite have enough pace uh, tenth behind us exactly was Rossi and then as we go down the field this is the rest of the finishing order so our other teammate C C R N, I think that's how you pronounce it he uh, ended up 14th, Franco Morbidelli 15th, Rabat up in 13th, that's a good result. Zarco on the pole, our other teammate fell all the way down to 10th, so he had a horrible race, absolutely no pace on his Tech, uh, tech 3 Yamaha. But for the most part, we <laughs> we had done here in Argentina, it's been a pretty good day. Had an awesome race in Moto3, made way too many mistakes in Moto2, and then again in here in MotoGP, didn't make quite as many mistakes, but definitely... Uh, barged our way through to a fourth place position so <laughs> we'll see how we end up in round three that's coming up in a couple of weeks time but yeah thanks guys for tuning in i hope you enjoyed it i know it was a little bit messy at times but it was pretty fun nonetheless quite ironic really but yeah until next time i'll catch you guys later